Fraser Island hosts some fantastic fishing spots and is a perfect holiday destination for the keen angler. This is where the warm northern and cooler southern ocean currents meet, resulting in a diversity of species that can be found here. Fraser is also sheltered from strong winds, which provides ideal fishing conditions to suit most anglers. Andre and Dean's trip to Fraser Island came to an end, but as usual, there's always time for one last cast. The guys from Kingfisher Australia has really gone the extra mile to make their fishing experience at Fraser Island as comfortable as possible. So sitting on Fraser, a few years ago we came up with a 6x4 trailer, everything was full of sand and we decided that we're going to build something a little bit more friendly for use that uh, contains all the fishing equipment, kitchen, water tanks, bait board and uh, so the idea started with uh, a keg in the middle, we built everything around that and uh, set up a live bait well with a bit of research in the front where you can put your tailor with an aerator, it is, keeps your fish alive, takes 300 litres of water and then uh, from there we decide we're going to put a kitchen in, we've got a pull out drawer with a wash basin, cookers that we uh, got in from South Africa. Um, we also then uh, set up some drawers where all the fishing equipment goes with all your hooks and sinkers and and the like and then uh, we've got a we've got some drawers for all the utensils the coffee the tea we've uh, put an inverter in that uh, two kilowatt inverter so we can run our uh, coffee machine in the morning so when you get up in the morning you go fishing nice and early you've got some nice hot coffee and then uh, in the back, in the drawer where the bait box goes, we have a nice big safari chiller um, that uh, also comes from Kingfisher. Then uh, a built keg that uh, takes a whole keg with six bags of ice. That's got a gas bottle that we use to pour our beer in. So obviously a ladder upstairs with some some rails that uh, on top the solar panel gets moved across so that we can fit our chairs. You can sit up here nicely, enjoy your beer, watch your rods. And uh, yeah, it works pretty nicely for us. We, we're pretty happy with the way it goes. Everything all in one. You don't have to worry about taking any extra equipment or anything. It's all there, ready to go, set up for these sorts of occasions. Cheers. With that, it was time for Andra and Dean to head on home to South Africa. They had a fantastic experience in Australia at Fraser Island. And thank you once again to the team from Kingfisher Australia for hosting them. Now let's have a look at some of the highlights of this trip to Fraser Island. No smoking and no dogs. Thanks. So we have to stay. <laughs> okay, so this is this is the tradition, how it starts, how it happens here. Yeah? These guys know how to make it work. They've got a whole beer keg built in with ice. Nice, nice little GT. There we go. On a nice bad, one. bad little guy. Got a little on uh, a spoon on a spoon and uh, it's a good bait size so we're gonna keep this one for bait for Spanish mackerel looks something a little bit better now golden trevelli and uh, there's a 10 Mustard tuna circle with a small piece of uh, sand mussel, yeah? Look at that golden band on that fish. Look here guys, it's like a grunter's lip. A rubber lip, lip, but it can come out like a grunter's. 
It's not exactly the same as the other kingies we know. Okay, so this one's gonna go up. Bit of chocolate on first just to keep it there and then a the pipi on top. They taste the pipi and then they come back. Entertaining the South African boys who've been teaching us how to fish here in Australia. Almost like a blackfin sort of lemon shark, we're not sure. The Poseidon prototype that's been uh, brought out for the guys from South Africa. Fishing with a view, <laughs> not any view. I think we've got a, a decent sized fish on here. Azafin will definitely be back to visit this piece of paradise again.